top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 10th, 2019. So, my goodness, rally, 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 rally. What a incredible reversal of market sentiment. Um, all of a sudden, we can't do anything but go up, and the bulls are pushing higher this morning with a sharp gap up this morning. Based on um, news that um, we have avoided the tariff increases with um, Mexico, that that has come to resolution and everyone one seems to be happy with that. And we also received a, a news to, uh, that United Technologies and Raytheon are planning to merge, creating the second largest company in the world. Market usually tends to like those kind of deals, and we're getting lots of bullishness from that. Also, China had really big um, trade surplus numbers last night, more than expected, pushing Asian markets higher. So just kind of a, a, all over the place, we have this warm and fuzzy feeling this morning, and we're going to put more pressure. Anyone that was short, oh my goodness, did they get they get hit hard here and if you're trying to fight this rally um you're getting uh, you're being put into a lot of pain a lot a lot of pain this morning uh trying to fight this rally now could this be irrational exuberance yes it certainly could be but the last thing we want to do is fight it I can tell you in years past, I would try to predict or fight this or say this is just completely irrational, trying to get ahead of it, um, uh, putting on short trades or something like that, and just getting run over. So don't fight this move. We have to watch and wait. Now, could we be reaching the end? I think the possibility of that is yes. We could be reaching the end. This is an uh, extremely overextended move. But remember, emotion can do a lot of funny things with the market, and there's no reason to believe that it has to stop. There's no rule in the rule book that it said it must go down from here. So let's watch this closely. Right up in this area, we do have price resistance. And you can see we're gapping right into that this morning. Just this uh, nearly a straight up move. This is a full on V bottom, which are actually pretty rare. But I got to tell you in this market lately, it's, it's either all or nothing. We can't have anything in between. We either whip all the way down or all the way up in these excessive moves. And uh, that just really shows the volatility um, and the challenge of trading this market. So as we rally up, watch that resistance level up there. Now, could this turn into a full-on pop and drop pattern? And I think absolutely yes, that is a possibility that we could find sellers up here and have this pull back um, on the end of the day. Maybe some profit taking coming in in the market but honestly we could move even higher and there's no reason to believe that um, it's impossible for us to do that we could move right on up here you can see i have a resistance level right here mark we could move right on up there test that level now if we do move up any rest or pullback we are now in a pretty good situation here on the diamonds um let me go back here to i don't know how i got over there on a four day but um as we uh, move up here if we pull back then we have the 50-day moving average to hold us as support that's what we're going to want to see is that hold of that 50-day moving average and a rest or a pullback into that area keeps us very very bullish in the market as a matter of fact if we were to just consolidate move up into here and then just consolidate that's even stronger in the move so kind of keep that in mind we have moved from completely bearish to fully bullish and any rest or pullback could set up opportunities for good long trades so watch that closely let's take a peek at the spy spy doing the same thing just an incredible rally and we're pushing up into price resistance here this morning with this gap up and let's keep in mind that we once again we've smashed right on through we went from through the 200 back above the 200 through the 50 all the way back up as if 
uh, we're the China situation is is not even there anymore. Um, kind of odd price action, if you ask me. But hey, that's not my decision to make. My job is to follow the price action of the chart. And as you can see, up here in this area, we have resistance. So any move up into here, we could watch that for potential resistance and the potential of some profit taking. And keep in mind, any rest or pullback pulling us back into this 50 day moving average would be a logical place to see opportunities for a trade. Let's hope we don't slip back below that and just create a whole bunch more. Um, uh, wild volatility in this market but that certainly is possible so keep a close eye on it let's take a look at the queues queues has really had been a concern for me um just the trade trade war kind of turning into a tech war and as you can see as we're rallying up toward this price resistance level in the chart we're gapping up this morning um, we could find some significant resistance somewhere in this range up here so watch this area up here for that potential resistance and that possibility of a little bit of profit taking to come in but let's also keep in mind that that 50 day moving average is up here and as we run into that 50 day moving average we could find that resistance after such an extreme move up little price resistance but if that were to occur this could actually pull back let me go to a go to a, a naked chart here and know that if we rally into here and we pull back i want you to kind of notice the opportunity that that could set up here with an inverted head and shoulders pattern in the chart so kind of keep that in mind there's that possibility that exists that we turn this ugly bearish market into something very bullish so watch that close and last but not least iwm iwm just still is really pretty sick even though it's moving higher this morning um still pretty darn sick um still underneath significant levels of resistance showing overall i'm going to move this line now showing overall downtrend um, in the chart so we've got a lot of work here on IWM and even though we're rallying up toward a significant resistance level I just really wouldn't expect IWM to really um, turn over or become uh, or or catch up I should say with the other indexes here it's lagging way behind continues to lag behind let's take a look at the VIX that VIX has been acting, I think, rather strangely, uh, strangely here lately. The VIX showing a little bit of fear rallying in on Friday as the market just continued to melt higher and holding up in this area. Now, this morning, we should see that fear diminish and drop back down with a bullish move in the market. But what if we do get that pop and drop? We pop up this morning, the market find sellers we pull back we could actually see this fear begin to extend itself a little bit to uh, the upside in that situation now, I can't be sure of that and I certainly wouldn't want to predict that I'm just looking at the price action here this would be a logical place off of this key level um, that we could see that little bit of profit taking come in the market maybe a little fear starting to creep up but let's keep in mind overall we're still in a downtrend here on the VIX and there's no indication here that that's going to spike up anytime soon so fear seems to be very very low here in the market and continues to hold in uh, really good levels um, in the chart let's take a look at t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and i gotta tell you uh, with this morning gra gap up we're going to be up here in the extended areas of the bearish reversal zone we could be reaching clear up into here now that doesn't mean we have to immediately fail as we have here just recently we get up into this area and we immediately turn back um, keep in mind we have had those periods where we are up here and we stay up here for a little bit 
So just because we're gapping up this morning doesn't necessarily mean we have to fall away quickly, but we are reaching that area up here where we could be a little bit overbought in the short term. So please keep in mind, if you're not in this rally, for goodness sakes, don't chase this rally. It is way too late to be trying to rush into this fearing that you've missed out because the truth is you've already missed out. Now we just have to be patient, exercise our discipline, and wait for the next entry into the trade. Could it be that we rally up in here and finally get that sell off? Yes. Could we get a consolidation in the market and provide a, a nice low risk entry into a long market? The answer to that is yes, but we have to be patient and wait for that. Be disciplined. Remember, this is a business. We don't trade on emotion. We trade on good quality business decisions. So be careful not to chase. Don't rush into this market this morning. It could be the very end of this run. We don't know that, but we certainly don't want to be uh, buying right at the end of the rally. So let's take a look at um, the diamonds, or excuse me, let's take a look at our economic calendar here this morning. Notice we don't have a whole lot for the market to key on this morning. We have the JOTS report, I'm not expected to really move the market around much today. And other than that, it's kind of a non-event um, overall in the day. So keep that in mind, not much happening there on the economic calendar. And on the earnings calendar, we have just short of 30 companies reporting earnings today, but really none that would be particularly notable None that you would expect to be a big um, mover of the market. So as we gap up this morning, we're going to be kind of left to our own devices here um, in the price action. And we'll have to see um, if the bulls continue to maintain enough energy to keep pushing higher or if those bears uh, try to come in and um, sell this back off just a little bit. So watch pretty darn closely this morning be careful not to chase if your long trades might be very very wise at this point to be thinking about taking some profits or scaling out you never want to let greed get in the way of taking profits and since we're extending this on up it may be a good time to be thinking about putting some of those gains into the bank so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you very, very much for everyone who leaves those comments. And remember, everyone, you can share this video with any friends or family that um, you might think is helpful. Remember, the purpose of these videos is not to predict the market direction in any way, shape, or form. It's to look at the support, resistance, the trend of the market, and try to uh, figure out our way, the best way to approach the market for the day. So um, there's no prediction in what I'm trying to do here, and I don't want anyone to think that that's what I'm trying to do here. It's meant to just pro provide that little bit of, of uh, market work in the morning to help you prepare for your trading day. If you find this useful, please feel free to uh, share this with any others. And thank you so much to those who take the time to leave a comment. It means the world to me. Thank you so very much. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. Now remember, any stocks that I bring up in here um, are not meant as a uh, recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's just meant as a uh, method to show you um, some of the setups and things that I look for in a chart and maybe build your watch list of trades that could be good potential opportunities to enter. Take a look at HIIQ. Now HIIQ, a little bit interesting here in its pattern because we had this big pop and then pullback. But what I like about this chart, and I need more um, work in here for this, is this beautiful little trend. And we've 
popped up through this resistance area right in here and now we're just kind of bouncing around in this area as this moves over toward the trend if this can continue to um, consolidate move itself over to the trend I want to watch for an opportunity maybe to enter here on HIAQ really like um, the potential of this chart not necessarily ready to trade yet but any pullback or rest in here that holds above this price support definitely could set up an opportunity to resume that trend to the upside let's take a look at crone now crone i've mentioned a couple times and i would like to find a way into crone this morning might be that opportunity we're seeing um, crone breaking its downtrend here we're starting to catch this little bit of a rally. We had a gap up on a um, an upgrade in the stock and a little three day consolidation in here. Now, if we can push on higher, there may be an opportunity here in Crone. So keep an eye on that. I'm not sure it's quite ready yet, but certainly setting up for a nice trade. Take a look at McDonald's. Oops. Old Ronald McDonald making a massive move higher, um, breaking through that 200 level, showing lots of strength here as it moves on up. Now, I wouldn't in any way, shape, or form suggest you chase this, but what a beautiful move that has made. Any rest, consolidation, or pullback in that chart could certainly set up an opportunity for a trade and one you might want to keep an eye on. Uh, if it does get that little bit of a rest or pullback. How about CECO? CECO, beautiful breakout here on a beautiful trend in this chart. You can see we have this nice trend moving up, breaking through this price resistance here. We did pull back, break support, but rally back up, held held it as support found that new high and pushed on through. Those are the kind of charts I really like to look for. Those technical patterns that actually prove themselves so here we have that proof that we're going to resume this trend with that higher low breaking through resistance now any rest consolidation or pullback over here to the trend could set up that opportunity for a trade might want to keep an eye on that chart um, take a look at Disney now Disney is one I've been watching for some time now Disney breaking through this massive multi-year wedge pattern breaking through and now is finding itself moving higher now i think this needs a little rest or consolidation a little pullback maybe but you can see we are gapping up this morning any rest or pullback in here that holds above this level of support i would be interested in that trade and the reason i would be is because that is the resumption of an uptrend and i want to watch for that and i think disney may have some opportunities here um, take a look at at some of the defensive sector stocks like PepsiCo. PepsiCo beautifully moving up this trend. Any rest, consolidation, or pullback could set up a new opportunity. Same thing with Coke. Coke, very, very strong in its move up. I would not chase this. Any rest, consolidation, or pullback could set up an opportunity, though, for an entry into that trade. Last but not least, take a look at Shopify. Shopify, just a beautiful uptrend. I've been mentioning this over and over and over. Shopify continuing this nice move up, gapping up this morning. Once again, I would not chase this move. This needs to rest or consolidate, come back over here toward its trend in either consolidation or a pullback to give that next opportunity to move right off of this trend. And you can see how beautifully that works. We move up, we consolidate consolidate over the trend we move up we and then we pull back to the trend move up pull back to the trend move over to the trend and move on up so those patterns continue to repeat in this chart and there's no reason to believe that Shopify is going to stop anytime soon it might but we won't know until that trend breaks so just wait for the next possible entry into the trade 
So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Once again, I want to remind you, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do that and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you so much to everyone who does that. I want to wish you all the very best today. And if you're struggling as a trader, please, I want to encourage you not to give up. I know this is a very, very challenging market. You are not alone in thinking this is a very challenging market. But believe me, if you you give it some time let it be patient for your trades be disciplined to your trade not emotional in your trading things will begin to eventually smooth out trust me if an old carpenter can figure this out i know you can so never give up on that dream with that everyone take care have an awesome day and we'll talk to you all bright and early on tuesday morning